I'm Anne Riddler from Massey University. Our research has shown that about 5% of ewes in New Zealand have problems with their udder. We've looked at a lot of udder and teat factors and found that the most important thing affecting production is what the udder feels like. Ewes who have lumps in the udder or hardness on one or both sides have lambs that are three to four times more likely to die. Lambs that do survive will be about two kilograms lighter at weaning compared with lambs whose dams had a normal udder. Many farmers examine udders at weaning, which makes sense for culling. However, a lot of ewes actually develop problems after weaning, so it's best to wait for at least four to six weeks and do it pre-mating instead. The best way to check udders is to feel them while the ewes are standing in the race. Just looking at the udders, during shearing for example, isn't enough. Feel each half of the udder, checking for hardness and lumps. We're now going to talk about the different types of udder defect and what you should do with affected ewes. This udder looks normal, but actually the whole of this side is really hard and firm. Most people would call this mastitis. Ewes with hardness of one side or both sides should be culled. In this ewe, I can feel lumps in the udder, so there's one here and there's another one here. Depending on the ewe, the lumps can vary in size and number, but regardless, ewes with this defect should be culled. This ewe has a burst abscess on her udder. The effects of these on lamb production are not well known, but the safest option would be to cull ewes with this defect. This ewe has a lump just in front of her udder, and sometimes you can also find them just at the back of the udder. The lump is sort of attached to the udder, but it's not really part of the udder. This is actually perfectly normal in some ewes, especially just after weaning, and this ewe can be kept. If you're checking the ewes four to six weeks after weaning, or prior to mating, then also roll the teats between your fingers, feeling for a hard cord down the centre, like a pencil lead. If they have this defect, they should be culled. Checking the udder of ewes is a fairly quick process and very useful. If you feel some defects you're not sure about, consider drafting them out and get your vet or someone else to check them as well to help make culling decisions.